is Navid from Oud for Guitarist, and today you're going to learn 10 ways to hold a risha. Hold on to the risha between your index and thumb. Don't allow too much to stick out, and don't allow too little to stick out. The rest of your fingers are curled around the risha, and your thumb is curved. Hold it in the traditional manner, but shorten the length that sticks out from between your fingers. You can play harder and stronger. Use a thick, heavy risha. The bigger the area, more string area you're going to hit. This is good for rhythmical playing, but it might be clumsy when you require finesse. I'm not using an eagle quill, but you can try to create a similar sound by leaving more risha length sticking out and using a narrow risha. Simon Shaheen holds his risha flat in the palm like the traditional way. The angle is parallel to the strings and doesn't come down on the string at too much of an angle. He holds it short, firm, and relaxed. Playing closer to the bridge creates more attack and a sharper tone. Move your wrist towards the bridge or make a sharper angle with your wrist. Try holding the risha over the holes or closer to them. You can create a soft mellow tone and a wash of sound. Use a risha that is more narrow. Hold in between your fingers and put the other end through your third and fourth fingers. This creates a sharper angle when you hit the strings, making it good for strong downstrokes and rhythmical playing. If you lose your risha, you can get away with using a guitar pick. You can hold it the same way as you hold a risha. Don't be surprised if you drop it. You can also use a thick mandolin style pick. Curl your hand into a ball similar to holding a normal risha. It's heavy and will create a lot of attack and tone. I hope you learned a few things in this video. If you want to develop a solid foundation on the oud, like learning how to hold it properly, learn basic oud techniques and exercises that will help you sound like an authentic oud player, then check out the foundation program. Thanks and see you next time. It all sounds the same to me. Me too.